do the math and figure out where we're at for Tandy's total weight and all that other stuff, but she's heavy. And just looking at it real quick, she's heavier than I thought. But she's got a big butt. It's kind of an interesting RV setup we have today, isn't it? It's really super windy out, like gusting up to 60 miles an hour. So $2,500 worth of side out toppers were incorrectly installed and it's now causing damage to the T-molding. She can hear me back flushing. <laughs> when she hears, she knows oh, he's cleaning the tanks. Getting that stink out. <laughs> that's, that's romance right there, RV romance. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thank you, sir. Take care. Stay safe. inside and get the paperwork um, and then we'll have to detach and then bring the truck back through and do another way. We have one way done. Oh that was on the whole time. No I just turned on. Oh okay. And why were you cussing me out behind my back? Yep. That son of a... Anyway so we have one total way. Our entire weight is 24,720 pounds. Okay. So now we're going to pull off. We're going to detach Tandy if we can find a place to park. Uh -huh. And then we're going to just weigh Mando because we actually we need to figure how much we weigh with Mando and the other stuff inside because we were also doing cargo capacity. So we did the, the second weigh just on Mando. And uh, when we get set up tonight, I'm going to go through all the numbers and do the math and figure out where we're at for Tandy's total weight and all that other stuff. But she's heavy. And just looking at it real quick, she's heavier than I thought. But she's got a big butt. All right, now we're going to our RV park in Williams, Arizona. So we are all set up here in Williams, Arizona, and now I've got a few minutes to go over and uh, show you some of our weights for Tandy. Uh, so we did the cat scale like that. Uh, we couldn't use the app. For some reason, it just wasn't working. It's just weird. Again, that was the only time, because I've used it many times before, well, before Tandy, and never had an issue. 
Um, so I had to go ahead and get a physical printout. But if you use the app and the app works for you, you actually get it emailed to you, which is kind of nice because you have it electronically. Anyway, so both vehicles together, Tandy, Mando and Tandy, sounds like uh, Jack Collins, Mando and Tandy. Anyway, Mando and Tandy are combined 24,720 pounds, which is pretty heavy, but it's not, we're, we're still fine. Uh, so Mando has a combined uh, vehicle weight rating. So everything all together of 29,700 pounds. So we're almost 5,000 pounds below that with Tandy. Uh, Tandy has a dry weight. I had to write this down here. So Tandy has a combined weight rating of with, so that's, that's its dry weight plus all your cargo capacity, et cetera, et cetera, of 16,270 pounds. But Tandy weighs by herself 15,220 pounds. So we actually have a thousand pounds uh, in there to play with. Now we weighed Tandy with uh, a third of the freshwater tank full. Um, so that adds a little bit of weight. We have dumped, we dumped the gray tanks, we dumped the, uh, the black tank, and then we put some water back into both later on. So I'm not really sure how much is in there, but there's, let's say maybe there's an extra 80 pounds in there, maybe 10 gallons combined. So not a whole lot. Um, and then with Mando himself, uh, he was 9,500 pounds um, by himself with us inside, full tank of gas, generator, the fifth wheel hitch, and then some other stuff that's in the back. Uh, and he's, so he's underneath his weight limit and combined there underneath. There's more to the numbers. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of them here. Uh, I, I still gotta go through and write stuff down. But we checked them, just a, a real quick calculation. We're under on everything. Which is great because we were worried with the with the possible axle issue that we have. Are we overweight? And we just proved we are not overweight. Um, we are a thousand pounds under, and there's no reason that those axles should be having any issues. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, but yeah, again, really cool. You can download the uh, Weigh My Truck on uh, Cat. Just go onto your App Store, Google Apps, whatever Google Play, whatever you use, and download the Cat Scale Weigh My Truck. And uh, it will actually, when you pull up, it'll use your GPS to say, oh, hey, you're by this, um, by this scale, or you can just use the number. Normally it works really, really well. You do have to set up a payment method. Uh, we use PayPal on ours. So again, you pull up, you hit the button, doo -doo, and you should be able to pull up. It'll tell you, pull onto the scale, do this, do this, do this. Now pull off the scale. And uh, it's, it's really simple to use. So I, I do want to weigh it again, because it is so much fun. But it does cost a little bit. So for us to get Tandy weighed and then to weigh Mando by himself, because Mando wanted his own weight, uh, it cost us $15.50. So you had a $12, I think it was $12 for the initial weigh and then $3.50 for the reweigh, which really isn't that bad and is really important. So something to think about. It's kind of an interesting RV setup we have today, isn't it? It's really super windy out, like gusting up to 60 miles an hour. So I felt it prudent to put three of the slides in and re-level it. <laughs> we can live with this, with the kitchen out, I think. <laughs> I think, I, I don't know. I, I think we can. So yeah, it's we're in Williams and the winds yesterday were supposed to be like gusts up to 40. And then today it's a gust up to 50 and then it changed and now it's gusts up to 60. And I mean, I'm standing outside in it, you know, doing tank maintenance. And it's... That's important if no matter I, what the weather. Yeah, no matter the weather, you've got to maintain your black tank. <laughs> but yeah, when I'm on the one side of the trailer of Tandy, it's okay. But when I come around the front, oh man, I got like pelted with rocks and stuff. But I'm going to go back out and I'll show you just how wonderful it is out there right now. I'm still doing the black tank. I can hear. Yeah, I can hear the... She can hear me back flushing. <laughs> when she hears, she knows oh, he's cleaning the tanks. Getting that stink out. <laughs> that's that's romance right there. RV romance. <laughs> Put my my eye protection back on. Here we go. It's just a little windy. Corbin and I went downtown and we grabbed some lunch and walked around and when we were driving back, because the town is that direction, and then we looked and you could, like the mountain here, see the dirt coming off of it. We looked back towards where the, the sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. My fingers are going all over the place. 
we looked back towards where the RV park was and there was like this dirt cloud. I was like, ooh, we should probably get going and get back. So a while back I made a comment um, when we went to pick up Tandy from the place that was supposed to be doing warranty work and all they did was the slide out toppers after having it for two weeks. That's the only thing they, they achieved. Well, I noticed that the T molding, which is the molding at the top of the, of the slides. So you see this, this is T molding that goes all the way around, right? Well, I noticed that there was bending a little bit and the brackets from the toppers was kind of coming out a little. I'm like, that just doesn't seem right. So I called the place and said, hey, you know, we got an issue here and I, you know, I need somebody to take a look at it. And they said, well, yes, you know, take it to a dealership and let us know. So then while I was waiting and, and trying to figure it out, I was like, you know what? I need to look at the installation. So I looked at the installation instructions and then I looked at the, uh, I'm going to stand as close to Tandy as possible because of the wind. And then I went, I looked at videos and I went to, um, LCI's website and everything for these products and the brackets are supposed to be placed see the corner here it's supposed to be placed on the wall underneath the t-molding underneath the t-molding they installed it on the t-molding so $2,500 worth of slide out toppers were incorrectly installed and it's now causing damage to the t-molding so uh you know i called them back work with them and initially they're like well the, that's where the manufacturer put the brackets and uh, i kind of called them out on that because we have pictures and video and then they realized, oh wait, no, that isn't. We put it on like that. So they've been very cool. They said, go wherever you can go. We will pay with credit card to get it fixed. Um, so we're when we get to Vegas, we're trying to get that figured out right now. Um, but I guess, uh, woo. <laughs> windy. You know, just when you have somebody install something, even though they're professionals, sometimes you might want to check their work. So anywho, with this wind. Uh, we were expecting 70 to 80 degree temperatures the whole week we're here and it's bringing in some cold and so tonight it's supposed to get down to 30 maybe 32 so i'm switching out the hoses putting on uh, our camco heated hose which we love this thing we've used the heck out of it um i wasn't expecting to use it again until you know like november <laughs> anyway gonna switch out the hoses and make sure they're ready to go and i think we may be sleeping with all the, the, the slide outs in, just to be sure. Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.